door shut. We'll see if we can see the shaft actually move. Start up again. See? If I hit that, I'm going to burn up the start one. Uh, here's kind of a hack that you can use to get a longer life out of a dryer motor on a clothes dryer. Many of them have a bushing on here. I've got the pulley off just to, for clarity. This has got all sorts of wear about the thickness of a credit card up and down and none sideways. It's because of the belt tension of course on the pulley. Bushing on this motor is worn and so this shaft due to the preload of the spring is biased up and that's why the belt is riding to the aft side here. And this is 42, 43 years old. And it just started acting up a month ago. And I've oiled this thing over the years. This actually went underwater in Katrina too. Um, if you undo this, which is, these are spring steel, so I had to go through and clip this and gingerly use a pair of clamps here and then take a screwdriver, pop this off. It's kind of brittle. You rotate the motor, I've undone the ground strap, I'm going to have to move that. If you rotate this 90 degrees, then all the play is out. So now you've got an egg-shaped uh, bushing that you're using the good portion on. And so that's kind of a hack that you can use to get the longer life out of a motor by not even replacing the motor. Because now you've got uh, where there's no clearance Basically, it's original clearance because you're using it 90 degrees of where it's worn. And on here, I've gone through and pulled, of course, I pulled the shield off. And this used to have a bunch of felt that disintegrated. It's on there. So you need to use a fairly thick motor oil, like a 40 or 50 uh, thick oil, especially on a worn bushing. But this has got a steel shaft, half inch diameter, and then there's the bronze bushing that's in there. And that's all into the frame here. But by rotating this 90 degrees, now you've got no play up and down. If I turn it back the original way it was, you've got the clearance, which is about the thickness of a credit card. Okay, for clarity again, I'll repeat. This is a motor and a dryer that's basically gotten to be hard to start because the bushing's worn out. There's a slop in the egg-shaped bore of the bronze bushing. Undid the motor here on the clamp. Rotated 90 degrees. Now there's no, almost no slop. You could rotate it the other way too. Make sure if you do this you uh, not have the wires touch anything. Probably have to undo the wires. So the bushing on here is actually highly exaggerated. It's like this. It used to be to where it was like this, and now it's wallowed out in one way, about probably twenty to thirty thousandths of an inch. So by rotating it this way, now you've got the preload force like this. And so you got very little clearance. And so what happens when you have a bushing like this with the larger clearance, uh, the bearing number from ball bearing design, this is actually a bushing, you've got to use a thicker lubricant and it's going to tend to want to not, uh, it's going to tend to want to go ahead and be unstable. You need some thick film lubricant to get in there. It's not going to want to stay in there. So uh, by turning it this way, you will get a little bit more life out of it. If you had a dryer and you don't want to buy a motor for a hundred bucks, uh, you can undo this, rotate it over. Uh, you may have to go ahead and lube it up once a, every six months or a year. And I would, what I would do is, if you pop this off like I did here with the screwdriver, uh, you could go through and repack this in with a piece of rag or something like that, so it's got something to retain the oil in. You don't want the oil to come off on the belt, but I was able to pop this off with a screwdriver and uh, it does have a piece of felt. There was some remnants of felt in there, so I believe this may have had a complete felt ring in there, and it just disintegrated. But there's very little clearance this way. This has got a huge amount this way. 
There's another hack that you can use on a motor. Uh, on this, I don't know how this is hooked in, but on some motors you can go through and tap on this if you can take it apart, and you can just scoot it down if the shaft, the weight is on the shaft. But on this particular one, the shaft is worn down slightly in there, but it's all on the bushing because if I rotate it with the control so on the uh, relay thing that way, it's got very little, very little play this way and a huge amount this way. It's probably at least five times the amount of wear. This has just hardly got any wear. I've got the pulley off. You don't even have to really take the pulley off if you don't want to undo this. You could pop this off just a little bit and then sneak in some stuff to help oil that. And if you use something thin like WD-40 in there, it'll work for a while, but you want something actually in a bushing to be 20, SAE 30, maybe even 40 weight oil, so it's going to tend to stay, especially with a thicker, uh, a larger clearance on there. So the top part on here is what's worn because the force on the bushing is this way. The force is up. So in the particular one like this, this actually at the top here, this section up here is worn more. And I've highly, this is way out of whack. I just did this for illustration. It's more like this. So this is, this is the part that is worn. So rotating it this way, you've got the original clearance because in the design there is no force sideways on this. And here's the... The same goes on other type of motors. If you've got a belt drive on it and it's got a bushing, you can go through and undo this and rotate this around to get into a better position. I mean, it doesn't have to be 90 degrees. You can get it to where, uh, if you turn it like this, there's no, can't even feel any clearance. So that's kind of a way to get some longer life out of a, out of a bushing that's worn to be egg-shaped. 